a title fight at the 155 pound belt. Hey, right, who got the belt? Where's that belt at? Let's see that pretty thing. Where's that bad boy at? Look at that belt right here. That's right, we're fighting for it. Here we go. Fighting TM. out of the blue corner. Standing at five foot, 10 inches tall, bringing an undefeated record and it's a ring at three and oh, from Body Shot Combat Club, Josh Gilead. So, in the history of mixed martial arts, mm -hmm. Is there a more overused walkout song than Many Men by 50 Cent? You know, I've heard you mention this before. It might be the most used walkout song ever. And it was odd that the first time I heard you say that, I was like, come on, Dylan, shut up. And then I turned to another event, and guess what was going it's on? Many Men. Many Men. I was like, oh my god, Dylan, Dylan might have a point. I have worked a ton of fights, and I want to say that if you pulled all the data, I would say roughly 25% of all MMA fighters walk out to Mini Men by 50 Cent. And the thing is, like, I like 50 Cent, some of the 50 Cent stuff. Mini Men's not one of them. This is the album for me. This Good. is the album. If you're gonna, you know, if you're gonna walk out to anything, it might be, might as well be something off this album. But man, can't feel original walk out to this. Everybody believes that there's a target on their back. And his opponent, standing at five foot eleven. With a record of five wins, one loss, fighting out of Matrix MMA, please welcome Tyler Sigmund. Tyler Sigmund, wrestling background his own. He's not going to be afraid of the changes that Josh Gilliam is going to present. We mentioned that earlier in our pre-fight breakdown. Did you do the write-up for this hey, one, Brian? I did. I did the write-up, and um, I think that what you just saw with the Williams boys, they're going to hit each other, but they're, they're not going to fall. They're gonna stand there and, and hit each other. There's gonna be a lot of scrambling going on, a lot of movement, a lot of back and forth. I, I don't think it'll come down to the judges, but if it does, I still say that Tyler Sigmund should walk away with it. I'm just going by pedigree. Honestly, Josh Gilliam looks physically body-wise a lot different than the last time we saw him and that was only in February but he's really leaned out and he's got a you know a very athletic frame compared to what I last saw I mean not to say that he wasn't athletic before but he's really really built up very very comparable to the shape we see Tyler Sigmund always come in always comes in looking like this looking like a G.I. Joe action figure I've been able to be in the gym with uh, Sigmund and, and that's why I'm heavily leaning toward him right now I seen, I seen him in the gym against guys who are a lot better than him, in my opinion, but he doesn't know that. <laughs> so he, he excels in those environments. I think this is a good All right, 155 championship for Fight For It is on the line in MMA. Is it gonna be Tyler Sigmund or Pilbs? Good jab. They got a good boxing program over at the um, Matrix MMA. So, yep, look, Matrix look. MMA, Greensboro area. Of course, they they produce Dalton Atha, many other standout amateurs and pros. So you can expect uh, Tyler to let his hands go. You know, we've seen Josh Gilliam in some grinders. He had that great knockout in his debut against Aaron Harper, and then you said that he grinded. Josh Alston out in the decision. He had another decision win after that. He grinded out the king of grind. Yeah, definitely. It's a sta it's a testament to your record when you can do something like there that, Josh Alston. Let's get fighters out. We're in it tonight. Let's get a rally in here. Let's go. Good kick. Oh, he, like he might have hurt Tyler's leg there. Yeah, well, Josh Gilliam's striking was the big thing I took away from his fight with Aaron Harper. He didn't really need to use the wrestling because the striking was so on point. And Body Shot Combat Club, you know, living up to their name because he landed a big body shot in that exchange. But you know, when Tyler Sigmund first came on my radar, it was when he went up against Levi Whitlow here at Fight For It. 
and he just completely shut him down. You know, he, he didn't really entertain the striking like he's entertaining it against Gilliam. He immediately went in, controlled him with the clinch, took it to the ground as often as possible, and just really used that wrestling to control him. It was those early debut nerves. But, you know, when you have two wrestlers like this, sometimes they're just content to stand because they don't want to bother with the wrestling. They don't want to get in that kind of grind with each other, especially with this being a little bit more heavier on the rounds. Whoa, big cross from Sigmund. Gillian just sticking his neck out there, daring him. Head movement, get in, give me the left hook. <laughs> Somebody's wristband just came off. Tyler Sigmund backing up a lot here. Now, yeah, this is where this is what Gilliam wants. Oh, but Tyler Sigmund catches him with a beautiful They're counter. Freedom back and forth. Yeah, they are really, really going back and forth. This is a very excellent matchup as far as on the feet goes. Now, finally, we're seeing some grappling introduced here by Tyler Sigmund. That is a very similar dump to something that he hit on Levi Whitlow, but Josh Gilliam is already attacking something. And this is what I mean when I said these scrambles that these two can get in. You can't call it, you know. Right. Yeah, I don't even have a name for that. Yes. And, wow, Sigmund. Already rotating onto an arm. Oh, that's shoot. extended. Josh Gilliam might be looking he to taps. tap here. He taps. Oh man, he taps. I wow. don't know. Let's see that replay. Wow. Josh Gilliam doesn't like that. Let's see it again in slow mo. Oh, Donnie Jessa blocking the cam. Well, here it is. Let's see. All right. We're Donnie about Donnie to find Jesse out what Reed. happened here. Watch the other arm. Watch that arm right there. The, okay, that, he walked in front of the camera at the split second that we needed him not to. <laughs> it, it looked like he was. Can we Tyler. But it's hard to say, like you said. Sigma. Crazy, crazy, crazy uh, exchange there. I mean, two. Don't forget December 18th. But totally justifiable. We will see y'all.